For our Facebook viewers, I thought you'd like to see that we do more than run just streetcars. Uh, this is the Russell Olson Library in the car barn. And it's our office, it's where we keep our shop records, but in addition, we have a lot of history materials. And I'll give you a quick look. The heart of the collection are the working papers of Russell Olson. Uh, Russ was one of our founding members and he's the Dean of Minnesota Streetcar Historians. He's the author of Electric Railways in Minnesota that you can see here on the shelf, published in 1976 and still really the Bible uh, for uh, research on streetcars. And what Russ has done is put together all of his working papers by topic um, and they're here available in the depot. Uh, we also have a lot of other materials. For example, we've got the Jim Kreuzberger collection of research materials on Duluth. We have all sorts of photos of the streetcar activities uh, in the course of the museum. Got a bunch of models here on the shelves. A number of Twin City Lines documents, including the, the Schedule Department logbooks from Twin City Lines. This is particularly interesting. This is the Zaluski Transfer Collection. Um, this is a gentleman who helped found the Hennepin County Historical Society, and he collected all the transfers from 1891 to 1954. We have valuation reports. Uh, these were done in 1916 and 1922, where consultants were hired to inventory everything that the streetcar company owned. We have quite a few materials in the cabinets here. For example, this right here is an entire drawer of vintage streetcar transfers from the Twin Cities, Duluth, and elsewhere. We have small artifacts that have been cataloged. Around the walls, we have some miscellaneous artifacts. For example, there's a stop sign uh, for a streetcar stop. Um, this logo is a Twin Cities logo that came from the main steam station power plant. Way up here above the file cabinet, that is a braille map of the streetcar system for the St. Paul Society for the Blind. Not as accessioned items, but we have a full library of books on the streetcars of North America that serve as a resource for our members. Over here we have all the back issues of Twin City Lines, which is our history magazine, quarterly history magazine. Some of these uh, collages that Twin City Lines put together to show uh, all the operators at some of their streetcar stations. We have a computer here, and on our computer uh, is uh, all of our photos. We have some 6,000, 7,000 photos scanned. In the flat files are original maps and drawings uh, for the streetcar company. And then this is our newly acquired uh, book scanner. We're going to be scanning a lot of these archival materials, including the Russells and materials. So anyway, that's a short look at the library. Thought you'd like to see it.